He's, uh, he's actually, you know, he, he's jumping the gun on the interview right here. But uh, uh, move over, Crypto. This is a real-life super pooch, a film of uh, superpower dogs that's coming to the Animax Center at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Joining me now, one of the stars of the movie, this is Henry, the bespectacled Henry, along with Ian Bunbury, who is his owner, or his companion, I guess would be... Uh, his, his partner? How his partner. That, yeah. that, work, that works for me. Henry is a border collie, so automatically the IQ in the studio has gone up yeah. about, about 10 points. About 10 points. And, and he is one of six dogs that's profiled in this movie. That's correct. And uh, it's because they do extraordinary things. That's right. It's a, it's a film about uh, five beautiful stories about how dogs make our lives better, and hopefully we make their lives better as well. well in the, in the now, I, now, I'll be honest, in the profile of Henry, uh, you know, I've seen, I've been around border collies a lot in my life, uh -huh. uh, but almost always they are hurting animals and that sort of thing. In this case, he's working in, in a snowy area of, that's uh, right. of Canada, right? Yeah. He's an avalanche search and rescue dog. Uh, he and I are volunteer members of the Canadian Avalanche Rescue Dog Association. His job is to indicate to me where human scent is rising up to the snow. It's my job to recognize what, what he's what he, saying. His indication. He, right? he, so what you said about the herding thing, we're basically exploiting the same instinct, right? To yes. go out there and find things and, and let the alpha leader know what's going on. Now, tell me about your relationship. He's, he, I mean, in the time that I've seen you two interact, he follows your every move, he does everything. Now, show, show me an example of what I'm talking about when you well, uh, tell him to do here, something. He can wave at us, Henry, waving at us. What a good <laughs> Can you speak to us? Hey, can you speak to us? Yeah, but, speak. You can speak. You can speak. <laughs> now he's got stage fright. Speak. Speak. There, you oh, there go. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that um, much to say this morning. But, but you guys obviously have a very deep bond. Now, tell me about your particular bond. Well, we're just, we're never apart. I got him at seven weeks of age and training begins right away. Now it's not heavy duty training, but you sure. know, you're basically engaged with the animal 100% of the time. And he's always looking to me like, okay, what are we gonna do today, dad? Right, now, 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 in every case, in, in Henry's case, and in the case of the other four scenarios, uh -huh. uh, these animals all do what, to those of us who are just casual pet owners, I, I mean, I have three dogs. I would never imagine they'd be capable of this. But uh, it, it, it's about the relationship, and what. It, it, sometimes we don't. Uh, uh, we we underestimate what these animals are capable of. Oh, absolutely. You know, but we're we're. You know, modern science is just now beginning to scratch the surface. Like you know, five, ten years ago, we didn't know that dogs could detect cancer. Yeah. You know, we didn't know that dogs, for instance, in, in uh, there's big money right now in the UK, dogs detecting dry rot in historic buildings. Yeah. Um, you know, dogs running pipelines, detecting gas leaks. Yeah, and obviously we had the situation over uh, where the uh, military canine uh, actually went in to go after the terrorist. Uh, that's what that, I mean, there's an element of, we like to anthropomorphize, but there's an element of bravery in that. That, that goes against every instinct an animal has. Yeah, no, what, what, what those dogs are doing is incredible. Hopefully, uh, they're not going to see an influx. Like this, the Malinois, the breed that, yes. of that dog is for extremely experienced handlers. Only. Exactly. It's, they are. They make this dog look like a lazy sloth. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's saying something yeah, right there. Yeah, no, they're they're yeah. a whole other level of activity. Uh, for someone who watches this movie, what, what what would you like for them to get out of the entire experience? Uh, just a special relationship that you know, how dogs make our lives better. Um, you know, they they literally make you know the a planet a better place to live. Uh, all right, and uh, what's next for you and Henry? Uh, we're off to Pittsburgh next week. All right. Yeah. But first, we got a whole bunch of things to do here in this town, and we're loving being in Cincinnati. Yesterday, I saw some things at the museum. I never thought I'd see, you know, Neil yeah. Armstrong stuff. I mean, yeah. was, like my mind was like <laughs> blown. Unbelievable. There, there you go. My mind is <laughs> blown right here. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, I would like to borrow Henry for a little while. I have a Snoop, a Johnny Cash, and a Luca at my house uh -huh. that could do with the, some some attention. He need, I need somebody to be an interpreter and tell them that they need to pay attention to me <laughs> the way Henry well, pays attention to I'm you. Gonna, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip, John. Oh, okay. It's a, lot of, it's a lot about this. It's a lot about the food. Yeah, it's a lot about the food. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I'm what's referred to as a quasi reward based trainer. Yes. Just like you wouldn't come to work if you weren't getting paid, he's kind of the same deal. All right. Well, Henry got to get paid. Yeah. All right, uh, Ian, thank you so much. Thanks for having us, All John. Right. Appreciate okay, it. Can we get Henry to give me a shake? Oh, there we go. Henry, here. Henry. Oh, right here. Touch. There we go. Hey. That's my buddy. Touch. That's my new best there friend. There you go. Oh, kind of in love. I cannot tell you how much I love this. All right, Superpower Dogs. Uh, Henry's one of the stars. Opens tomorrow at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Uh, they're showing through March. And if you want to know more about tickets and showtimes, we have a link at local12.com.